guys, Shea Bear 1000 here and Monkey. Monkey 1000. What we're doing, Monk? We're getting a shed. Well, we got the shed. We're going to start building the shed. Here's the shed. <laughs> there it is. Believe it or not, that is a 10 by 14. <laughs> Look at, now back there is the truck and the trucks back there because we have to unload the materials for the floor and it is going right here yep. 10 feet wide 14 feet long um, we can go 14 wide and 10 feet deep mm -hmm but I'd rather go lengthways. Yeah. But it's up to you. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to get started on. She said you can't do this in one day by yourself. And we're not no, going to do that. No, we're not. No, we're not. You're not either. You've already lifted half that stuff because they don't do a dang thing. Yeah, we just spent from 10 o'clock till, what is it, almost 3 now. Yeah. Just trying to get that box that you seen out front and this stuff yeah we made two trips and we we're only three miles away and we did all the work so we, yeah. i just worked at lowe's all fucking day and not made a penny yeah they took Bastards. my money too i should have got a discount. yeah we paid them to work there yeah yeah uh, fucking lowe's employees were well there. you know what they say lowe's knows ace is the place there was <laughs> one guy that was good but he was being thrown everywhere yeah. because he does work and nobody else does yeah well so. we didn't have it delivered number one because we're 3.2 miles right and it was going to cost 79 dollars for delivery but today is the 16th right and we could they could possibly deliver it for us possibly on the 27th if they don't get a big order if they get a big order they go first yeah yeah so it could take longer so, so this is what we did um what i'm gonna have to do i needed two 14 foot sections so i had to have them two cut down um to 10 feet to so it fit in the truck i'll have to butt them together but i'll put that i'll put the butt joint back in the back yeah you know but and, at least we got it here. Yeah. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's what that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start building the frame. Well, I'm going to unload this first. Um, I've got this rope here that I had her getting off for me there at the store off the roll. And she kept going, is that enough? And while she was saying, is that enough? Well, <laughs> she kept pulling out. And as you can see... I think that was plenty. Come on, make sure you have enough. <laughs> I've got plenty, babe. Thanks. You're so welcome. we're going to unload this, but first things first. Look at this. There's a lemon and lime back there. I wonder why. I need my lemon and lime. She's going to have a Mossau mule. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got my bush NA here. Because you can't be operating machinery and, and power tools tipsy. while you're tipsy. Well, you Actually, I just ain't allowed to drink real beer. But, well, I'm allowed, but it's not good for me. So, I can drink this. Because I don't care if I get tipsy or not, I just like to taste the beer. So, I'm good with this. Um, I figure by the time I'm done with this shed, you'll see about 14 of these boxes here and there no so well i'll pick them up but they get the idea oh okay. <laughs> if it was real beer yeah you'd see them all over all right i'm tired Let's, now it's time to rest you can rest i'll unload this no I, okay i'm gonna Not i'm gonna have my beer i'm gonna unload this and i'm gonna get started mapping this out hang tight guys well you can use the rope to map it out what I had planned. That's, see, I brought you planning. I got all that carpenter rope over there, but since we got about 457 miles of this stuff, we're good. Yeah, it was free. No, I had to work my ass off for this little bit of rope, and you bet your ass I'm going to use it. 
bastards. We'll be back with you. <laughs> Now what he's doing, he's putting the two pieces that we had to have cut, he's putting them back together. So they'll be longer again. That's what he's doing. I don't know if you can see that. Ah. There you go. So you can kind of see how he's doing that. And there you go. You'll put some in the front to support it better. And then you'll have your length back. <laughs> they had one job. Yeah. Okay. Two 14 footers. Yeah. I know you're not supposed to butt them together, but it's a shed, not the fucking Taj Mahal. Right. Before my haters even say anything. Mm -hmm. But this will be the part they skip through. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, well, if you'd watched the whole damn video, you would have heard me say, I know that. <laughs> but it's going to have blocks underneath it it's not going to give it'll be fine and then plus once we get this down yeah it ain't going nowhere no nope. we're not parking a dump truck in it you sure there might be one in that garage somewhere where your dad's well, he's got so a couple cattle prodders in there so go <laughs> figure that one out yeah i i don't know why he has those we don't have any cattle uh, maybe her and your dad, you know, back in the day, they probably... Oh, yeah. Probably. I've been wanting her to bring him out. She's like, what are you going to do with him? I said, I don't know, I'll build something, but I'm starting to think now. Might not be a good idea. Mm -hmm. I get out of line, she'll be out here poking me that cattle prodder. Wow. Oh, I will definitely make sure I bring him down next time. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned. Okay guys, we've gotten this far. It told us to stop if we didn't have enough time. We want to get it done, so I guess we will finish this tonight. And he has to put these two things that are on the ground here together. And then we'll beam it up on the side over here for the walls. So it's starting to look like a shed. What do you think, babe? Yep. Yep. It's not easy. These instructions are for the birds. They'll say one thing and, you know. But we're getting there. Stay tuned. All right. Well, 
Got one wall up. Man, let me tell you something. They don't punch in fucking holes right at all. Mr. Screw. They do not. I mean, <laughs> you line them up with each other, and every hole's damn. Every hole's different. Like this one, it absolutely wouldn't fit on there. I'm gonna have to make my own holes and caulk over the other one, so I'll put it on the back because. Them holes are all punched different. They're just like a sixteenth off, just enough where you can't get a screw started. And if you do get it started, it leaves a big ass buckle. You know, kind of like this down here. You know, you can't. What do you do? You know, it's just it is what it is, I guess. But damn, for six hundred dollars, well over seven hundred if you count the floor. I think they do better than that. So. We've got three more walls to do. The roof, the doors. It'll be a pretty good size shed. Yeah. It's square, square as hell. And then they tell you to square this thing up, right? But don't screw it down yet. Jesus Christ, you can move this thing just by bumping it. How the hell is it supposed to stay square? So I just stuck a screw in each corner for now. Uh, you know, just hold it square for me. And then uh, I'll check for square. Once we get the, the roof on and everything, I'll check for square. And I can square it up from then if I have to. If not, if I don't have to, then I'll just go ahead and zip my screws down along the, the edges there. So, yeah. I forgot one right there. See, see you can see that one's off. But, so, it's pretty easy. It's just time consuming. So, there's an update on that so far. Okay, babe. So, we got the walls up, guys. So, finally, it hasn't been fun. Because the holes don't line up like they're supposed to and all that crap. So, but we're getting there. All the walls are done, the door thingies up, and what do you call that thing you're working on now? The gable. The gable. So he's got to put them together. Yep. We're doing it. So, and then we'll have to do the roof. Oof. That'll be the hard part, I think. Harder. Maybe not. We'll see. There's the beans for it. So, there you go. We'll let you know when we get more done. Okay, guys. Low update. We are getting ready to put the center roof beam in. So, we've got the left and the right in. Now we got to put the center in. Um, it's two of these joined together, is what it is. And then it'll go, it'll spread over top of them. You put two bolts in it. Same way up here. And then after I do that, I'll go and snug everything down. So you're like, this one needs to be snug. That one over there is tight. This one I need to snug down. And, uh, I want to do that after I put the center one in. I tightened this one all the way because it gets flimsy, as you can see. Uh, so we'll we're going to keep on keeping on. So it is starting to look like a shed. It's taking me all week because I wasn't feeling well for two days. So as soon as Monkey gets out here, we're going to put the center roof beam in then. The roof, I can do all myself, the roof panels and the doors. Um, not sure I'm going to get up there because you don't want to get clear up on top, you know, because it'll cave in. So, I'll just have to play that by ear um, for the roof panels. 
and then we, we're going to have uh, one will come from here where you at? from here up to the center it's a brace and one over here will bolt here and go up to the center beam so this is what we're looking at I'll give you another shot of this thing my jack out here leveling everything up um, I've got it screwed down in a couple places they say keep it square but they don't want you to screw it down but I screwed it down in a couple places because it was getting windy I didn't want it sliding anywhere so then I'll uh, before I put the roof the actual roof on I'll square it up again and to do that you just measure a lot of you guys know this but some of you don't if you want to square it up you just measure from that corner to this corner and from that corner to that corner and they should come out the same so there we go let me back you up here it's getting there guys <laughs> I think it's the longest it's taken me to to make a video but like I said it's not how to because it's just so many variables well, see, your holes went, your screws went straight in them holes, and you know mine didn't, and all this. Uh, too many variables. Just reading the instructions because I'll tell you, they say if your holes are not lining up completely, you're out of square. Well, I had this thing perfectly square, and only about 50, 45 to 50 percent of the holes lined up, and you got to move and stretch and twist, and like I said. Uh, in another clip that you know a couple of the places I had to make just make holes because it, there's just no way no matter what you did it was going to like you know if you got say five holes across the top maybe you can get four of them lined up and then the fifth one won't go it's it's all on how they punch the holes out if it wasn't in the jig just right them holes ain't gonna line up and this is mass produced so you know what I'm saying there right so but it seems to be pretty level i'm going to level it once once it's all done i'll level the floor up again make sure it's it's level um and those those two befores you know they're not some of them are bowed anyway i'm not talking about bowing this way i'm talking about you know if the two befores laying this way on edge you know where it's bowed and hell what do you do i dug through the whole freaking pile got the best ones I could find and but um so yeah once I get the shed all done I'll level the floor up again before I screw it all the way down and um, that way it's not putting any pressure on the shed but like I said it's not how to it's just what we're doing so I'd much rather build a wooden shed any day this would have been done but there we go stay tuned for the next clip hopefully we'll have a roof on okay guys that's what we got so far the roof is done well not quite done done all the way the roof is on I still got to go around the edges here on both sides and then I still got these get these here get molded right through them holes there through the outside I don't like that that setup but that's that's what they got so then I've got got to put my caps well the ridge ridge caps uh, there's caps on I'll show you I got them on the back now you're not supposed to have to caulk this thing but sorry about the Sun there's those caps there they say arrow on them oh, there's a baby baby gecko hi as you can see, look at that. It's fucking stupid. Hopefully I can get that out of there when I square it up for the final time. You know, so. Yeah, see so just. So hopefully when I square it up again, it'll be, they'll line up a lot better, but. Hey, 
So you can see daylight through there. So I'm going to go, I'm going to crop through all that stuff. Any of that, the silver tape. I don't know. Camera's probably not picking it up. Anywhere you see silver tape, anywhere you see daylight, I want to cock all that stuff. Because to me, daylight is a leak. You know, there's a potential leak. You know, there's a potential leak. And so anywhere I see daylight. Uh, so, but yeah, we're getting there, guys. Um, so I got about three more hours of that stuff, nitpicking stuff. And then I'll have a couple hours in the doors. I got to put the doors together and then get them hung. So there we go. And see, like back through the back there, right dead center of the screen. I don't know. Can you see the daylight? See that? Ain't that a shame? I mean, to me, wind's blowing, water's running on the outside that it can blow it in. So all that's going to be caulked. Um, but like around here. You should see some daylight because it's got an overhang. Um, because it does have to vent. It will have to vent. So, um, <clears throat> yep. So there's where we're at on it, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Be done for the day. This is what they give you. This stuff right here. They call that weather stripping. That's not weather stripping. All that is is little piece of duct tape I mean it's just aluminum foil sticky and that stuff will rip you might not see this shed moving but this, these things move all the time they uh, expand and contract and and you know like this see that gotta go in there and then when you do that look what happens there so you know I mean it just and if you square it up, square it up to where it's perfectly square on the floor, none of this is, is really square up here. Uh, <coughs> only about 25, 27% <coughs> of the screws, <coughs> or screw holes line up. So, but anyway. making sure I got for some reason I got three pieces of tape there and they go up under there see like that slice right where my finger is all right guys that's enough for now so stay tuned for more okay guys here it is it's all finished uh, I need to uh, just sand and stuff. Um, I'll hose that down later. That's all that is. Gotta sweep out the inside. But the only thing left to do is to give it one final, you know, squared up. Make sure it's square one last time and then screw it down. Once this is square, I've ha I had it squared up earlier and you don't see any daylight through the bottom. So once this is squared up, then I can put my screws. There's holes along there that you can put your screws in and screw it down. And it'll be done. Of course, like I said, you're not supposed to have to, but anywhere I see some daylight like that, Right up through there. That's a potential leak. Now, it's got a washer on it on the outside. One of those neoprene washers. This is what they are. Okay, it's that. So we've got, you know, I'll uh, make sure that, you know, I've got any holes that I can see or looks like, like these things, you know, I'll go up out on top like that one. You know anything like that like you can see the holes not right um, that's because those are slotted holes and just in case I'm gonna you know all them bolts and screws and stuff I'll 
I'll go ahead and put some caulking around it um, just to make sure there's no there's gonna be no leak stuff like that just a little bit of adjustment and it'll look like that it'll be tied up against there and I'm gonna caulk all this too um, you know like in the corners these may be okay because you know you want it to breathe also what we're going to do is get some register vents like some for like your heater you know that goes into the floor or wall or ceiling or what have you I'm going to put one on one side in here and one side and one on the opposite side out here so that way the heat can escape uh, see I got to do the same thing up there what you do is you just loosen them bolts up and you start at one side and you push it and that's how you get those so that's no big deal to uh, adjust them but like I'll put one here and one back here on the like on the other side so it's kind of like a cross breeze but it's done um, there is some water laying back there because some water blew in underneath this like I said I'm gonna caulk all the way around this on the outside you know and see there's holes there's also holes you can you know screw down in from the outside as well but um and then this I'll I'll put some sealer on this but yeah I'll caulk all the way around the outside of this thing so the water will not run in no more and like I said I didn't have the doors on yet but they close up nice and it's pretty well done there's some little that was from packaging you know you pick a piece up and that's what you get there's some little dents and dings from that like this is this is one brand new it came like that so I mean what do you do you know there's one up there it's not much you can do with something like that but yeah so uh, it'll work You're just gonna be using it for storage yeah like all these screws and stuff see it's got the little washers on them but I don't trust them I'll go ahead and put caulking around each and every one of them this doesn't really matter that much because it's an overhang but um see I feel one there that feels like it's kind of loose like right there it may have stripped out I don't know uh, I can't remember if that's a bolt or a screw but yeah you know I'll just I'll just put a lot of caulking around there but yeah it's done you know I just you know, probably got about another two hours just tinkering with it you know getting it squared up and everything's level and then caulking it so but um, see I gotta square it up again but this thing it moves pretty easy if you push it from the inside uh, I know the floor is square but you know I'll have monkey help me with that so that way you know like this is kind of pushed in a little bit once it comes out then I can square it up because I know the floor is square so I can square it up to the floor you know like this will come over it'll be pretty much on the edge this will be pretty much on the edge and that'll be pretty much on the edge straight down through there so that's what I wanted to show you back here and then I'll put screws on the inside and probably screws on the outside to help hold this thing down but I was out here in a windstorm and rainstorm the other day and it was uh it was fine it wasn't I mean I'm sure it was moving because these things do move they're designed that way but you know I mean you couldn't feel it moving inside and stuff like that so it's fairly solid and they give you a bunch of extra screws and nuts so anywhere I see something that may need one if I have to I'll make a hole cock it and put a bolt in it so just a little bit of adjusting there it is guys it's all done so but monkey helped me out a lot with it so because like when you're up on the roof <coughs> there's bolts you got to put down and through to hold the ridge caps on you know and you can't you know I mean you, you can't reach under 
and hold the top and start the nut and all that so she helped me quite a bit there so thanks monkey I appreciate it so there you guys go right there that's our shed took a little over two weeks to do it took about 16 days but a couple days it just poured down rain a couple days I was sick um, hell two years ago I could put that up by myself you know other than needing somebody to help hold the bolts um, I could have done it in three days <laughs> oh well what are you gonna do you know you get a hundred degrees out here and it's you know like if it's 97 degrees you know you're looking at you know over a hundred in the shade and that's in the shade and once you start getting the roof on there it starts getting hot in there pretty damn quick so anyway that's what we've been working on now we can get back to selling stuff and uh, now I got to get the garage situated and we got to get some more stuff from her mom and dad's house to bring out here you know we got the golf cart the lawnmower the uh, that big ass tool chest and stuff like that which you'll see in upcoming videos so anyway guys this is one of the longest videos it took me to make but it's done so anyway thanks again for all your help monkey appreciate it so she may you know do some on her channel too you might want to check it out uh, when she gets uploaded so all right guys thanks for watching shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care